A mother in Ohio is uh, out of jail one day early. She was found guilty of a felony and sentenced to 10 days in jail for sending her two girls to better schools, but in the wrong school district. The judge gave her one day credit for time served when she was arrested. Her name is Kelly Williams Bowler. She's hoping to get this conviction overturned. A jury decided she lied about her residency so her two girls could enroll in schools outside her district. She used her father's address. Williams Bowler says she splits her time between his home and one in Akron. She told our affiliate WEWS she was just trying to do what was best for her children. I did this for them, so there it is. I, I did this for them. When my home got broken into, I, I felt it was my duty to do something else. Now, she actually could have gotten up to 10 years in prison. She's not getting off easy, though. Listen to this. She's trying to get a teaching degree, but with the felony record, she'll likely never be hired to be a teacher. Boyce Watkins is a professor at Syracuse. He has written about this case. He joins me now on the phone. Um, Boyce, I know you, you've uh, reached out to her. You've been in touch with her attorney. Um, what moved you to write about this? Well, what moved me to write about this is because this touches the, the heart of what so many families across America are forced to face when it comes to giving their, their children access to a quality education. Uh, my mother uh, had to tell a few fibs to uh, give my brother and my sister and I a chance to succeed. And there are millions of mothers across the country who are forced to make this difficult choice. Um, I felt that the sentence was draconian. And really, the case of Kelly Williams Bolar, uh, it, it's such a microcosm of everything that's wrong with America when it comes to access to educational quality, when it comes to economic inequality, and when it comes to inequality in the criminal justice system. There is no reason this law-abiding woman who simply wanted to give her kids a better life should spend a second in jail let alone be kept from ever being a teacher in the state of Ohio again. Okay, boys, let me ask you this. Um, as you said, there, there are a lot of parents that, that have done something similar, but it, but it is lying. It is misleading. She did break the law. What do you think should have happened? Well, you know, you know, Martin Luther King told us that, uh, you know, breaking an unjust law can, in many cases, be a moral thing to do. Uh, you can go back a couple hundred years to a point where it was illegal to teach a slave to read. Um, so legality is not necessarily equal to morality. And, and the reason I draw that parallel is because here we have a situation where this woman was forced to, see, to either send her kids to woefully funded, inadequate inner city schools uh, and had well, to and boys, let, me, let, let me stop you, because to that point, from what I understand, and the school district she was in has a graduation rate, graduation rate rather in the 70s, and the one the district where she was trying to send her kids is in the 90s. Well, you know, I, I think that still at the same time, uh, she, the fact that she wants her kids to go to a better school shouldn't mm -hmm. be a crime. Uh, you know, the, the fact that the, the funding for the schools was so uh, the dramatically different that she's being charged with grand theft uh, mm -hmm. for the amount of money that was, was spent in terms of the funding differential uh, is incredibly problematic. So I think that we have to really take our time to really study this case and really ask that broader question as to why there are so many other parents like Kelly Williams who have a choice to either break the law or deal with whatever school that your kids are forced to go to because there's clearly a reason that this mother uh, was willing to take this risk to give her kids access to a better life. That huge graduation rate uh, that that makes that makes a difference when you're a parent trying to get yourself and trying to get your kids into a better school. We also uh, have a statement from the superintendent uh, Brian Poe and this is what he said. He says the bottom line is you need to follow the law. If you choose to step outside of the law what's going to happen at that point is you're going to have to face the consequences.